and we back and we're here on NBA 2K14. A couple videos ago, I asked y'all, would y'all like to see a series of me going back to every single 2K and try to rebuild the worst team that year? Well, here we are. 2K15, we did it with the Milwaukee Bucks, and it went pretty well. And 2K14, according to the standings, it was the Orlando Magic. I don't really remember playing this game. I tweeted a picture of me, downloaded it. You should be following me on Twitter, by the way. And a lot of people are saying that this was their favorite 2K ever. But in my mind, I don't really remember playing it. So a lot of this is going to be new. Right off the rip, um, I don't see a My League mode. So I think we're going to have to do this in My GM. And I have never actually played My GM. I literally... Yeah, you can either go one season or My GM. So I really have no experience with my GM whatsoever, but here we are. We're going to try to do it with the Orlando Magic. I just know that there's a lot of cutscenes and a, look at like all of this already is, is too much for me. But let's go over to the Orlando Magic. I know we're going to have like a young Victor Oladipo, but the rest I really don't know. So Mr. Klein is a bit difficult to get a read on. See, I don't like dealing with owners and stuff. Just let me trade who I want to trade. Okay, so let's look at our roster. We have Victor Oladipo, 21 years old. Aaron Aflalo, young Tobias Harris. Yeah, I can understand why this team is very, very bad. We have a young Mo Harkless, young Vucevic, but man, I'm going to struggle with this. They won 20 games this season. So let's try our best to do what we can do. With all the cutscenes and stuff, I just hope that this doesn't turn out to a super long video. But I'm here for it, if that's what it means. And this already is telling me that we're about to have a cutscene. Here it is. Hey, George. I guess guess my name is George. Welcome to the Orlando Magic. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care. Can I get to trade in players, please? So he wants us to win at least 18 home games this season. Can I promise that? Well, we won 20 total last year. And you want us to do eight? No, nope, nope. It's going to be hard to accomplish. I'm sorry. You can be mad at me all you want. But how am I going to do that with the roster we have right now? Expiring cons are very valuable, so I want to move Ronnie Price and Jason Maxeel. Done deal. Those dudes is going to get moved anyway. And is there one more thing? Play Victor Lipo at least 24 minutes. Oh, yeah, 100%. He's our one of our young up-and-coming players. I need him to develop into the Victor Lipo we know today. The quality of the roster, the quality of our roster just doesn't stack up on paper to the rest of the league. We need more talent added to this team. Um, need that to happen right sooner rather than later. I'm going to say might accomplish because I feel like it will be harder to do trades in my GM other than my league. So I told him might happen and let's get it. Oh my God. Now I got to talk to Jacques Vaughn. He's our coach still. Jesus Christ. What is he asking us to do? Uh, I'm not changing nothing. Not, not that Jacques Vaughn wants us to trade. It's Jacques Vaughn. Okay. So this whole menu it's not ringing any bells. Like, usually I can remember, oh, yeah, this is what things were like. But, uh, no, nah, not this time around. But, okay, y'all saw the roster. What the rest of the league is looking like? Because we're talking 2K14. So, the 76ers don't have Joel Embiid because in 2K15, Joel Embiid is a rookie. So, this team is very bad. Kemba is young with Al Jefferson. Uh, we got a 59 overall Chris Middleton and Giannis. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Then the Bulls have D. Rose, Joe Kim Noah, Luau, and the young, young Jimmy Butler, babyface Jimmy. These, are, This is one of my teams, man. That nostalgia is coming in, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Then the Cavs don't have LeBron. LeBron is still in Miami, y'all. LeBron is still in Miami, but they got Anthony Bennett, so that's, that's their future. The Celtics only have Rondo. The Clippers have Lob City. We got Jay Dudd. Shout out to Jared Dudley. And then DeAndre Jordan. The Memphis Grizzlies have their big three. The Hawks have Lou Will, who's 27 years old. The Heat have their big three. Boss is only 83 overall. So is there really that much of a big three if Boss is only an 83? I don't know. The Jazz got young Gordon Hayward. RJ is still in the league at 33. The Kings got a young Boogie. Melo is still in New York with Amari Stoudemire, Iman Shumpert, and J.R. Smith. I remember back in the day when Iman Shumpert was pretty young. I was like, man, that dude's going to be real good. And he won a championship. So Kobe, Powell, and Steve Nash are together. Um, the Orlando Magic have Dirk and Monte Ellis. 
The Nets have Darren Williams, Paul Pierce, KG, Joe Johnson, and Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez outside shot is a, a F back there. But, you know, nowadays, he got it like that. AK-47 is 32 years old and still in the league. This team was supposed to be very good, but never was really that good. And then we got the Nuggets having Ty Lawson. Pacers have Paul George and Danny Granger still. Danny Granger's old, and he got injured the season before this. Pels have Drew Holiday, Anthony Davis. Is this his first year? This is year two Anthony Davis, so that's why he's only a 79. We know what he's going to turn into in real life. Josh Smith is still in the game. Rudy Gay is still in Toronto with a young DeMar DeRozan. Landry Fields? I know that name means nothing to a lot of y'all, but, like, I ain't, I ain't seen that name in a minute. Harden still got Dwight Howard, and this is a younger Harden. This is his second season in Houston, and they have Chandler Parsons, too. Then the Spurs have their guys. Kawhi Leonard's only 84. He's only 22 years old, too. Then the Suns have all of their guards. Where's Isaiah Thomas? I thought Isaiah Thomas was on his team, but I guess not. Then we got the Thunder, KD, Russell Westbrook, Surge, and then down here, a 58 overall, Steven Adams. <laughs> and Timberwolves got Kevin Love still. LaMarcus Sauls and Damian Lillard are still teammates. We got a young CJ McCollum. And the Warriors have Stephen Curry at 88. Iggy is the best player on the Warriors back there. And the Wizards have a young Bradley Beal. That's the whole roster. That is the whole roster. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is try to make some trades. Our general manager said that he wanted a couple people to be out of here, so let's try to get him out. Um, okay, so this is a very interesting trade because Draymond Green is a 67 overall. Um, but I know he's not going to develop to the Draymond Green we see today. But I think it's just interesting that they're trying to trade him for Jason Maxiel. But I did see a trade down here that I'm going to do. Um, and it was this one for Amir Johnson. We get off both of the contracts that our owner said he wanted us to get rid of. And we're bringing Amir Johnson, who's he's fine. You know, he's, he's a fine player. He can be in our rotation. So this is exactly um, what we want to give you. Boom, boom, propose this trade that works. So trade either, boom, boom. Our, our owner is happy with us. Okay. So we got to mess with the minutes a little bit. And they want Victor Depot to come off the bench. I don't like that. Can we? I have to. Rotation adjustments requires you to be at least level one. See, I just want to play the game. They need me to unlock stuff and go through press conferences. Oh, I don't know how much. Um. <laughs> How much I can take of this? Okay, so we're going to bring in Steven Jackson. He's 35 years old right now, but we just want a little bit of depth. So I'm going to offer him the exact contract that they want us to offer him. Uh, that isn't quite it. He wants at least three mil. I will not give you three mil, but I'll give you close to it. And he's not going to be a starter. Oh, my God, the roles in this game. Actually, let's start him. That's going to bother me because I, I now that we're here, I remember this very, very vividly. Players are going to come to my office and say, I want more minutes. And I can't even do it. I whole time, I can't do it. So we still have to be level one in coaching to mess with the rotation. I, I literally don't know what that means. Can we just simulate some games? Let's simulate some games. Simulate through these games. Can we get to level? What are we hoping to accomplish? Learning. Oh, boy, this is about to be a struggle. I can already tell that this is going to take a very long time. They want to give me Eric Bledsoe and Gerald Green for Victor Deep on Tobias Harris. I will not be accepting that. Sorry. Yeah, I don't want that trade. I don't want that trade. Now we got injuries. This is, this is, I can't even mess with the rotation. How do I get to level one? How do I get to? Always have the coach handle the injuries. But how do I get to level one, right, that I can mess with the rotation? Attribute upgrades? Oh, my God. It cost me VC. It's going to cost me VC. I can understand why people didn't play this mode back then. I have 100 VC. So what do I – I literally have to just simulate games and hope that I get some VC. But my team is not going to win games if I'm not the one – Messing with the rotation, and every two games, somebody's calling my phone. Malik, uh, Michael Beasley for no, no. Tobias Harris is here to stay. I'm gonna start cutting stuff, and uh, I'll I'll be back once something major happens. But right now, it's not looking like it's gonna be easy to do. <gasps> 
I just accidentally accepted a trade, bro. What am I? Why? See, I just traded Steven Jackson accidentally. Literally, I was just clicking through because every two games, there's some, watch, watch, you about to see something's about to pop up. So I'm just trying to click through stuff so I can simulate and I just accepted a trade that brought us Festus Azili. I just traded for Festus Azili. This is a sad day, bro. I, I don't know how y'all did it back in the day. I wasn't playing this mode back in the day, but I am, I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach because I did plan on st trading Steven Jackson, but not for Festus Azili. And I think it was Tony Douglas. Some of y'all don't even know those names. That's how bad it is. It's, yeah, uh, we may do like three seasons. And if I'm not successful in those three seasons, then we call it a wrap. Because it's taking longer, way longer than I want it to. So we're about to do what I would consider our first big trade of the video. We're going to trade Jameer Nelson and Mo Harkless in a second round pick for Paul Millsap. And I think this is a good trade for us because it just gets us better. And there we go. Paul Millsap is now on the team. I think that he can be... Well, he's going to be like our team leader. He will be our highest overall. And look at that. Now Aaron Aflalo is mad at me. Because I said that this new dude will be our leader. Come on, man. We got seven wins, Aaron Aflalo. You not being a good leader if we if your team has seven wins. But I don't think I still I still can't mess with the rotation. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have enough. It's it's telling me that I need more VC to just upgrade. Just to upgrade the rotation. Um so Again, that's stupid. That's stupid. Why would they even put that into the game? I, I got to look at it like this. With this big old lock on my screen to look at what our rotation is looking like. I told, listen, I had told our owner that Victor Lipo get at least 20 minutes a game, 24 minutes a game. He's getting nine because I can't do anything about it. So the owner is going to be mad at me, but I'm just, I, I can't control it. And I'm trading Glenn Davis. Or uh, one of these guys is going to trade him. All right, so this next trade, I'm getting a first-round pick for Glenn Davis, Etuan Moore, and Andrew Nicholson. I don't care about having RJ on the team, but uh, this is just getting us a first-round pick from the Utah Jazz, who right now, not that very good of a team. I know this is the next year's first-round pick, but still, they're not amazing, so that's going to help us um, also free up some space so that we can have Victor Depot playing minutes. Oh, my God, now it's up to 13 minutes. That's a great thing. See, why are people this low on my rotation getting minutes? I did, I did it again. Oh my god, bro, this is the the absolute worst. I'm just trying to get through with this simulation, and I just traded Tobias Harris for. No oh my god, look, if y'all knew, so I'm still in my first season. By the way, keep, keep, continue, remember that I'm still in my first season. I have been recording it for 37 minutes. 37. This is the first season. As you can see, how much stuff is just popping up? We didn't even simulate a game there. We just didn't even simulate a game and somebody else is in my office. Like, oh my. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Can we please? I just, I just accidentally traded one of the pieces I wanted to keep. Oh, here's something else from Jock Vaughn. All right, so LeBron won MVP. We're, we're finally done with the season. Trey Burke won rookie of the year, okay? Jerry Jack, sixth man of the year. Defense player of the year went to Andre Drummond. Evan Turner wins most improved. Coach of the year went to Tom Thibodeau. Let's get it. We still don't have enough VC, by the way, to mess with our rotation. But uh, I hope... Oh, nope, I don't need no assistance. I would hope... That before next season, we can. But let's see who wins the championship. Uh, no, no, um, body from our team. Like, our team did not make it. We actually had like one of the worst records in the league, which is a blessing because we have a higher chance of getting that first overall pick. And the Knicks won a championship. First half said 72 ish, something like in that round. But regardless, Melo gets his ring so y'all can stop talking bad about Carmelo because he did it. All right. But okay, what's now? Um, I don't care about this. I literally don't care about your team operation budget. I, I could not care less. I'm trying to rebuild this team. 
money is going to be tight this year. I need you to stay under budget. <laughs> Maybe. We try to be good, right? You got to spend money to be good. You got to spend money to be good. Let's see. You want some... Nope. I can't promise you anything. I cannot promise you anything. Nope. I'm not even... At this point, let's not even read them. We just tell them maybe for everything. So we can't be mad if we don't do it. Because we told them we might not anyway. But alright. Draft lottery. This is where things are really gonna go down. We have the third highest odds. Let's get the... Not Xbox Assist. Let's get this first pick. And we got it. Number one pick. And this year's draft goes to the Orlando Magic. And we have the 21st pick. So the Jazz actually turned out pretty good after that trade, which is trash. But it is what it is. Let's get it. So we have to hire a lot of new people. I'm skipping past that because I don't I don't care. We're going to keep Vucevic. Lamb can go. Festus Azili can stay, though. I'll, I'll keep Festus Azili around. LeBron declined his player option. All right. I mean, we don't have the money to, like, offer LeBron something. But I'm just saying we may see LeBron moving or we might not. You know, he may just accept something else. So, Hidu Turkoglu, no, no, no. How much does... T oh, yeah, we have to go through an entire cutscene. I just want to see how much money he wants. So, he wants three years, $14 million. Um, We have $40 million in cap. So, yeah, I'll offer that. That's a good offer. It's less than what he wants. But if he don't want that, then I don't want him. Because we got the first overall pick. He told us to target Danny Huffman. I don't know who that is, Jacques Vaughn. But you got fired in real life from this job. So, I'm, you know what? I don't really care what you think about the prospects. I'm going to take the guy that has the highest overall. Whether he's a point guard, shooting guard, I literally do not care. We just need somebody that's good. Because right now, our team is not good. All right, the Magic are on the clock. So, who is the highest overall player here? Who is projected to go first? This guy is a point guard, A plus overall. He is 6'7 point guard? I don't even need to look at no other prospects. 6'7 point guard? Yeah, give me him. Give me him. So we got a new point guard, which means that if Tony Douglas don't take that offer, we cool. From Tosa, Brad Soto, 6'7, 201 pound machine. But this is similar to 2K15, where I'm going to have to sit here. And wait. Oh, they're, uh, uh oh. They offered me the fourth pick. He's an 85 overall rookie. Get out of here. I'm not answering the phone so I don't accidentally trade him. I'm not even answering the phone for nobody else. I done accidentally traded people too many times this video. So I'm going to simulate all of this. I'll see y'all once we get that 21st pick. Now that I think about it, this is taking way too long. I, I'm not sitting through this. I'm not sitting through this. So my assistant GM, he's going to have to draft the rest. And it's actually going faster now that I sent to the end. Okay, so we had the 21st pick. We have a small four, Kelly. That's all I read. He's a small four, and his name first name was Kelly. Kelly Rowe or something like that. So he's new on our team, and I hope he's something. But that point guard, that point guard, legendary. I'm already, I'm already predicting he's going to be the best Magic player since Penny. <gasps> Hold on. I should be wearing this for the video. A T-Mac jersey. I forgot I had this. Uh, it's too late now. It's too late. So, the draft is finally over after a solid five minutes of me sitting here. But let's get to signing our players. Actually, let's see. Was there any other? There was literally no other player we wanted. We lucked out getting that first overall pick. Everybody else in this draft class is trash. 21st pick, that guy we got is tr trash. Simulate to the end, though. Rookie signings, I'm keeping both. Okay, so, free agency. Um, a goal about to fail. They want me to sign a free agent, a, a six man. Let me sit down with LeBron first. Uh-uh. Not His role won't be a starter. He will be the star. It's less than what LeBron's wanting. But that's the most I can give you, Bronny. So, if we can go like a Luau Dang signing would be pretty decent. He wants three years, 27 million. I can give you... He would be my starter, small forward. I would give you three years, 23 million. And then we would have 9 million left in cap. So I'll give, yeah, I'll give you 23 mil. Come on. Uh, it's a start, but he wants 24. Meet me halfway. Meet me right there. Meet me right there, Luau. I'll take consideration. And let me know. He gonna let me know. Fine. So we do need a backup. 
um, a six man. So for my six man, I want to go somebody that's older, but that still got game. Like Karan Butler, he's a 78 overall. This free agency class, not, not that great. Now that I'm looking at it, not a very great free agency class. Uh, or we can go IT. Let's see what IT wants. He wants the same offer we gave Luau Dang. Get out of here. No, not for no six, man. Okay, so we advanced the day. Um, so Tony Douglas wants to come back, which is cool. Luau and Powell are going to come to the team. I got Powell as a backup. Uh, he's 79 overall. Oh, we don't have the money for Powell. That's tough. Um, that's real tough. But we got somebody. So LeBron still doesn't have a job. Same thing with Carmelo Anthony. Obviously, I ain't got the money to go look at those dudes, but they, they, they're they there, and I don't know where they're going to end up going. Our team is pretty much set, though, for this season. We got 13 players, which is cool. So let's go straight to training camp, and we'll see where LeBron end up signing later. But I do feel good about this team. Um, hopefully, we we aren't like um accidentally trading players somewhere down the line. But let's go to camp. That 85 overall dude, I think he's about to come in and have a great season. And I still don't think we have enough... XP for us to mess with the rotation. <laughs> so that's something to think about. But I will be sending him to... Wait. It actually costs VC for it. I don't have VC for it. <laughs> oh my god. 2K is money hungry. And since it's a game of 2K14, I can't just like put fat dollars in because the servers are down. The servers are done. Can I... Go to my GM. I need a hundred. No, no. I literally have enough. I'm level two. I'm a level two coach, which means that I can adjust the lineups and rotation. Oh my God. It took a whole season. But here we are. Um, They got Soto as a bench warmer. We're going to have to change that and make Soto our starter because, I mean, he, he literally is the highest overall player on our team. Okay, so this is what our rotation looks like right now. I like it a bunch. Um, Nick Vucevic only got a little bit better. And I know in real life he turned into an all-star, but in 2K14, I don't know if he has all-star potential. So, like I mentioned earlier, this may be a video where we only do a couple seasons just because it takes so long to get through those seasons. So, let's try to trade Nikola Vucevic and... That Jazz first-round pick that I have. Okay, so we have a trade. Nick Vucevic, a first-round pick, and Amir Johnson for Al Jefferson. That's the deal we're going to do. Uh, if you do not, do not remember, Al Jefferson was a pretty good NBA player in his time, you know. So, we're going to offer them exactly that and hope that this can get us a championship or in the playoffs. Let's start off small. Let's get in the playoffs. And again, we did make a bunch of trades to get future first-round picks. So, that Jazz first-round pick doesn't mean much to me. So there it is, boom. So I think our team is a little bit better after that trade. Go to the, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get in a minutes, but you get what I'm saying. He's here, he's ready to help us win. And what I'm about to do is go into free agency and try to get a backup center after we fire Jacques Vaughn. Oh, we literally can't fire someone because we, we're not high enough rank. So the D offense that we have is Jacques Vaughn, we just got to keep. And hope that we get some VC down the line. But let's get to some of some games regardless. Um, I'll see y'all soon. I mean, we're 3-1 and one right now. You feel me? The Warriors are calling our phone. They're trying to give us Steph Curry. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want Steph Curry. I got Brad Soto. If you ain't know, though, we got Brad Soto. Oh, my God. He's injured. <laughs> I mean, it's only a one- and two-week thing, but literally the next day after I've declined Stephen Curry, my guy gets injured. I'm sick. I'm sick. But all right, we're going to keep it going. All right, y'all. So we're calling up the Warriors, all right? We're about to try to trade Luau Dang for Iggy. Um, Luau's been cool. Luau's been very, very cool. He's averaging like 16 points a game for us. But Iggy is better. And right now we have a record of like... I don't even know what our record is exactly. But our record is not the greatest. And again, we want to make that push for the playoffs. We're the seventh seed right now at 26 and 26. But getting a better player on our team, hopefully that's going to push us over the hump and we can actually be a lot better. But Iggy, you know, Iggy's a bucket. And hopefully he fits better. I hope. Why do these players get minutes? I don't understand why players like this get minutes. Like, no, we had our rotation. It was a short rotation. And we wanted to keep it that way. 
All right, so Russell Westbrook won MVP. Our boy Brad Soto wins Rookie of the Year, averaging 18, 5, and 6. Jared Jack won Sixth Man of the Year again. Vucevic won Defensive Player of the Year. I traded him away, and he became Defensive Player of the Year. Kelly Olenek wins Most Improved, and Coach of the Year went to Eric Marshall, who's some guy. And I did it again. Why is this? Why is that even a thing? All right, so next we have all NBA teams. Do we have anybody from the Orlando Magic? Iggy is on the defensive team. Of course, Soto is going to be on the deep, uh, the rookie team. Magic have Iggy and Al Jefferson. So the Iggy trade is good, all right? The Iggy trade was great. And um, we had the rookie of the year. He's available. Very proud of him. Like, what if I just put him on a trade block just right there? So, we're going to get to the Atlanta Hawks in the playoffs. We finish as the sixth seed. We're in the playoffs, sir. Atlanta Magic in the playoffs. So, let's get it. Game one is a loss by 20. Okay, game two is a win. Game three, come on. We lost. Okay, game four. Oh, boy. Come on. Not a, not a four. Okay, we stay alive. Keep fighting. And there it is. We got eliminated. Okay. So let's see who wins the championship. The Timberwolves won the uh, championship. This is a fantasy world, huh? This is definitely a fantasy world. Okay, so we're going to win one more season, and hopefully we can get better. I mean, we made the playoffs, which is great. We haven't done that in a long time, so we did it here. So some stuff he wants to have accomplished. Again, I'll be back. I'm just going to say might accomplish to all of this. Um, free agency. So, of course, we're going to advance to sign both of our guys. How much? This is the most we can most we can give somebody is a forty million dollar contract for about four years. Got it. So let me go fill out our roster real quick. All right. So here we are in the second season. Our boy Soto got better, and I love it. Uh, we may be trading Paul Millsap now. I brought in Dirk because he had no offers for four million. Because why not? Is Dirk why not? Why would I not want Dirk on the team? Um, we still have Draymond down here, but it's again not the Draymond we know. So. Let's go all in. This is the last season. So those first round picks I have, let's throw them out there with Paul Millsap. Not wait, not just Paul Millsap by himself. Let's throw them picks on it. Throw one pick on it. This year's pick. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully it's just a somebody that's an upgrade. Um, but it ain't looking good, man. What the trade market doing? Okay, so nothing's there for that. No biggie. Because we just signed. Al Jefferson to trade him away. We gave him this big contract. Somebody somebody want him, right? Nope. I don't want LaMarcus. The trade market's trash, Boogie. But they want Paul Millsap too. I'm not giving away both of my big men. All right. So that's nothing good. Okay. So we're going to make a trade to pick up Al Farouk Aminu. At this point, since I can't really upgrade my starters, I'm going to try to do the bench rolls. So hopefully my bench players can come in and uh, play well. So, we're trading Kim Bazemore, who I just picked up at free agency. And that's going to be cool. All right, y'all. Things are going bad. We're calling up the Spurs and say we need Kawhi Leonard, okay? Dirk, I'm sorry. You've been cool for us for like a third of a season. But we need some firepower. I don't know. Our team sucks. We just went from playoffs to not making the playoffs. So, <sighs> let's hope that that's something. Because it's Kawhi Leonard, man. Alfred Camino's injured. Oh, that's why. Alfred Camino has been injured. That's why we're <laughs> losing against. I literally don't I literally don't know why we're, we suck. Um But hopefully this is enough to help us in the long run. Cause we are 19 and 19, which is a huge, huge um difference last year. So Kawhi can hopefully bring us some W's. There we go. Oh, there we go. Five in a row. I'm giving all the praise to the players because Kawhi Leonard came in the hoop. Okay, so Kevin Durant won MVP. That guy won Rookie of the Year. I, I don't care about any of this. We didn't make the playoffs, y'all. Um, the trades didn't matter at all. I thought they were. I like. Okay, I wish. Can I show y'all our? Wait, did we make the playoffs? Wait, 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 wait. We made the playoffs. Okay, we we're the eighth seed. Oh my god, but we were the five seed. After we traded Kawhi, we went on this huge win streak, and then we lost a bunch after that. But we ended up the eighth seed. Don't count us out. Uh, we lost two, three in a row. Okay, you should probably count us out now. No, nope, don't count us out. And that's it. Okay. That's all I got, y'all. 
Uh, I wish this didn't take super long because I would keep going, but I want to get this video to y'all as soon as possible. So if you enjoyed, you should just leave it a like. The Minnesota Timberwolves won another championship. So uh, in the comment section below, so I know you got to this section, just write Soto. Like Brad Soto, the starting point guard we drafted, <laughs> who turned out, you know, he's good. It's just didn't go the way we expected. Thank you all so much. I'm out.